Well, I was thumbing from Montgomery. I had my guitar on my back. When a stranger stopped beside me in an antique Cadillac. He was dressed. Hey there, YouTube. It's Justin the Snap On Junkie. How the fuck are you guys doing today? So, today, uh, I know you guys uh, realize that, you know, I own a dump truck business. And, uh, yeah, I make it look pretty easy, I guess. I don't know uh, about that. But, <clears throat> anyway, uh, so I'm going to show you the joys of owning a dump truck business. It is now quarter to four in the morning. Okay, we were out, uh, I was out paving tonight. And the truck broke and it has to be on another job at 7 in the morning so this is the joys of owning a truck and I know that people say that I don't use my tools and all this stuff the reason I have them guys all this stuff is, is because you never know what might break uh, when you start double shifting dump trucks and stuff like that and I think I'm going to do a whole series on owning uh, a trucking dump truck business like how to start doing that let me know in the comment section if you guys are interested in knowing about what it takes to start a trucking business because I think a lot of people don't know you know I get a lot of comments that I'm just some rich kid playing mechanic couldn't be further from the truth but but anyway you know we'll let them keep commenting in the comment section I need you guys to start jumping on their ass because this is the shit that we got to deal with every fucking night or not every night but most of the nights um, I felt bad leaving the job. Uh, the two foremen that I work for tonight are awesome dudes, Ben and Mike. Uh, they work for a company here in Cincinnati. You know, I'm like, these guys like me and they take care of me and they know that I didn't mean this to happen. This is the second time this happens, so I got a pretty good idea how to fix it and we're going to try to beef it up for the next time that it doesn't happen. So let's go out there and show you what we got going on and uh, what we got to do to fix it because this is you know this is interesting here uh, you're just fixing some stuff so I saved you guys the boring part of grinding the welds down and stuff like that so there's gonna be some welding in this video and some stuff like that but I'll, I saved you the thing of getting all the prep work done uh, just because that compressor is so noisy and all that shit but we do have another one coming that's gonna be pretty badass can't wait to show it to you but this one sucks. So anyway, let's go out there and take a look at this thing and see what we can do to get this fixed because it's got to run in the morning and what kind of the problem is uh, for out there to kind of show you, you know, what the issue kind of mainly is. So let's go take a look at this. Hey guys, we're up here on the dump truck up near the top of the bed here in the bed post, uh, how this bed is held on. Uh, let me show you here. So it's just held on by these bolts right here and then this has a washer that goes around the outside of it right there but as you can see the washer broke so you can only imagine that the tailgate fell in the paver and we had to get it emptied so what I'm gonna do is I don't have the proper washer so I had to make them so what we're gonna do is put this washer on there and weld that on there and then what we're going to do is take this one and beat it on there, get it square, weld this all the way around. But we're going to we're going to tack this one pretty good, almost all the way around on the inside, so it makes you know we got two things uh, to keep stopping it from uh, coming off the next time. And the reason that this does this, so if you guys are out there and you're thinking about getting the trucking business, this is one of the main issues. This tailgate is so tall, okay? So when you put 25 ton of asphalt in it, then you open the tailgate, the tailgate goes out, and then it runs into the back of the paver. And what you're doing is, is you're lifting the whole truck up off the paver, and it puts a lot of bind on these pins here. You know what I'm saying? So like if you get what I'm saying so this happened last year up in Dayton and we had to fix it there and all that stuff and that did it with a full load as soon as I popped the gate it fell off this one actually you know I was dumping the load I said let's just get it off and get the hell out of here and uh, if you need me to come back tonight I will if not I'll see you Sunday night yep we're working Sunday night yep fucking great and the trucks got to work tomorrow day 
So I can't call my driver and say, hey, bud, you can't work Saturday because the tailgate fell off. But we got to fix it here tonight. And this is, uh, it was pretty, first time it sucked, this time it won't be too bad. So I'll get you guys set up up here. Uh, we'll get this welded back on. Then we're going to take this bolt out. I'm going to try it a little bit different this time and see how it works. So we'll find out if we can fix this thing tonight or not. Let's get this tacked on here real quick and see what we can do with it. The idea is, is you don't want it to have a big run at it. So what I'm going to do is just tack this right here. What I'm doing here guys is I'm trying to get this weld pretty thick I'm trying to get that weld beat up pretty fucking thick so uh, we got some good penetration on there then I, I'm just gonna tack it in four spots because I got such a big gap over here so I'm going to fill it with this big rod and what I am using is uh, ERS 80 so and I'm mainly concentrating the heat not on this washer I'm putting it down here on the uh, on the bar mainly and then I'm just cutting it in over there all righty as you can see we got that but then we fucked the tungsten up it exploded so let me change this tungsten out get back in there. I don't care that it's kind of balled up on the end right now. Uh, that'll actually help me feed it some rod. Okay, now we got that. Now I gotta try to get Amardestrix on it here and come over. I think I wanna do this front side because the, I think I'm gonna do the whole top is what I think I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna finish walking this in and get it to up here and stuff like that. And I think we'll be okay there. Okay, so now that we got that, 
I got that little bit too beat up there. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to grind this down a little bit because what I want to do is get that other washer here on the outside and uh, let me see what I can do down here. trying to cut it in down here where this gap is pretty big and I've got the thickest filler rod that I have yeah there we go now we're cooking we just had to get some heat in that uh, So that's basically what we're going to do all the way around this thing and then I'll get back to you guys after I get it welded up and I'll show it to you. Well as you can see we got this welded up here. I got this double one on. It's you know welded double and we got this big flange in here. Now it becomes the fun part. So what we got to do is take this bolt out, shove this back in, put the bolt back in and we're probably going to shove some grease in there. Uh, you know, I don't know how this is, I don't know how this is going to work. Uh, this is not how I did it last time, but, you know, uh, we're going to try her. But as you can see, this thing is on there pretty good, and it's welded up nice. I'm happy with it. I think it'll be better. We have a, you know, we have 270 degrees on this side, and then, or 270 on this. 270 on this side 300 over here so we should be all right you know like i said boys jo joys of owning your own business it sounds fun i mean it sounds like a great idea yeah we're gonna buy all this shit and we're gonna be rich but really it ain't guys it's just like being out there and you're working you know at your job right and it's the same thing. I mean, it's just more. Like owning your own business, I don't care what anybody says, there is no days off, man. Every minute of the day you're thinking about, what am I gonna do next, what's my plan, all this stuff. I mean, it just happens. But anyway, I'll save the rest of that for a later video, but just saying, so now what I gotta figure out to do is a place to put you guys where you don't fall over and you still can see what I'm doing. Uh, that's going to be the, the next tricky thing. We're going to hit it with a little bit of panther pee, as Eric O calls it, you know, so we can see if we can get this thing out. And we're going to let that sit, like he says, for about two seconds. So. Now let's get ready and uh, see if we can get this bolt to come out and the door not hit me in the fucking face. I know it's not big nasty and all that shit, but old painless is what we got. So let's uh, run this nut on there a little bit. Okay. And then see what we got here.
She's coming. Old painless will get her done. Just don't want to fuck this thing up. That's us afraid up. Fuck. Okay. Now what we got to do is uh, we got to pop the door out a little bit. Uh, what I had to do was get a different bolt uh, because I moved this over a little tight. And I couldn't get three quarter to go in there. So I had to get uh, a one inch bolt or one size smaller, if you get what I'm saying, to, to fit it in there. I can put this on there. This truck can go back to work guys, so uh, that'll be pretty good. What I'm going to do is go get the uh, little grease gun, uh, shoot some grease in these things while I got it up here, and then uh, make sure that the gate opens, which it looks like it will, no big deal. You know, uh, we're all put back together. Well, you know, it ain't the best, but fuck it. Run it. You know, and the door seems to be sitting in there a lot square. Uh, it wouldn't let me, you know, pound it all the way in there. I used old painless uh, to get her in there. And, you know, this old door just kind of wore out. But it is what it is. All right. Well, as you can see, we got the door fixed. Uh, I opened the gate and, uh, you know, it doesn't fall off anymore. Uh, that's been the second time it happens. What it does is it's got a lot of weight when you, uh, you know, how that thing is held together. When you put 25 ton on it, it's trying to push it out, and it always pulls on those things. It's really not a great system. Um, I probably need to look into getting what uh, they call a proper asphalt door, which I wanted to get one last winter, but it just we didn't make enough money to do that. So maybe next winter we'll have enough money to uh, get that door cut down. Uh, and then the, put sliding hinges on it, if you will. But that's the that's the true fix, how you do it there with a door that long. You have to take it, get it modified. It'll probably be 5600 bucks somewhere in there uh, to get that door modified. And, the, yeah, that's all paid out of your thing. Now I'd like to talk to you guys, too. Also, uh, you know, like, again, when you start owning your own trucks, and you, you got to learn how to do some of this shit yourself because that repair right there was... That would be $1,000 at a welding shop. That's what they would charge you. Because they charge you a flat four hours, you know, at 100 bucks an hour, maybe even more. Okay, so you got $500 in that. And then what you also have to take into consideration, and nobody really does, is when your truck breaks, uh, you also miss the next shift. Okay, so that Saturday shift, let's say you work seven hours. Okay, that's another $600 that you miss. And your driver's going to be pissed. And the people that you work for are going to be really upset. So when it comes down to having all this stuff, there's a reason that I have all this. Do you think that I would want to buy all this stuff and have it? Yes, I like having every tool. That is just something that I like. But anyway, you know, like, it's just something that I like. I like having every different things because you never know what you might run into. But I hope you guys enjoyed that little repair uh, it just popped up, so I decided to shoot it. Um, it's now 5.15 in the morning. We got this project done, so uh, the truck can run tomorrow day, which is Saturday, and stuff like that. But, you know, it just takes me, you know, this is why I have all this stuff, because, again, you never know. But anyway, what I think I'm going to do is, you know, leave a comment in the comment section if you guys want to know about what it takes to start your own trucking business, because... There is a lot of rules out there and regulations and all this shit that you got to fucking follow, you know, and then they change the rules on you. 
Uh, it feels like every week, but it's probably every couple months. It's just fucked. The whole system is fucked. You know, it's just a pain in the ass. Like, so, I mean, I take pride that I started from nothing, and I'll explain to you how I kind of did it and what I learned and all that stuff. I think that'd be a cool video because I haven't really seen anybody talk about, like, the dump truck business, how to get in, how to do that, how to do everything, and things like that would be pretty cool. But I wanted you to see that this repair, that it just stuff pops up all the time. But anyway, uh, like always, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Go to my Instagram page and the Snap-on Collectors and the Snap-on Junkie.com. Purchase your stickers. Uh, and we got two hoodies left, so if anybody wants those, let me know. Uh, what else do we got going on? I think that's about it. Like always, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Half drunk and hollow eyed. You said it's a long walk to Nashville. Would you like to ride?